Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to adjust the borders and background colors of your table. Start with the same table that we've been using for the previous several lessons. Let's add a background color to the headers of this table. Move your mouse to the top left corner of the table until you have highlighted the top row of header cells. You will know when the row is highlighted because two things will happen. A black arrow will appear and point at the row of cells, and a thin red border will appear around the row. Once the row is highlighted, click to select it. The Properties Inspector will reflect your choice. Click the BG background icon found in the Properties Inspector panel. This will open a color palette and the mouse arrow will change into an eyedropper. Click on the palette to choose a color for your header background. The palette will close and you will see the background color on your headers as well as next to the background icon in the Properties Inspector. You will also notice that your color's exact number, known as the hexadecimal color code, is also displayed in the Properties Inspector. This is useful information to have if you plan to use the same color on different web pages. You can make note of this code and simply type it into the text field on subsequent pages in order to use it again. By clicking and dragging, you can now select some or all of the remaining cells in this table and assign a background color to them as well. Make sure that the color you choose is not too close to the color of your text or viewers may have a problem viewing your table's contents. To adjust the border of a table, first move your mouse around the outside corner of the table until the entire table has a thin red border around it. When you see the red border, click to select the table. Now, click into the Border Text field in the Properties Inspector panel and use your Backspace or Delete key to get rid of the 5 and type 10 instead. Hit Enter. You will notice that the border width doubles to accommodate your adjustment. Some website designers use tables with no visible border in order to get a cleaner looking page. To do this, simply set the border value to zero. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.